Questions in paper two chemistry repeat the same old concept every time. They just change the format and the numbers. Today, I would like to show you four questions that are very frequently asked in this exam paper. The first question is about chromatography. They're asking me here to identify the yellow spot based on its RF value. You have two ways to answer this question. The first way is to use your ruler and measure the distances, which would take you a long time. But if you realize that the distance from the solvent front to the baseline is worth one, then half the distance is going to be 0.5. The yellow spot is slightly far from the halfway line. So it can't be option A. It would rather be option B. Here's another frequently asked question. It's taken from the mole concept. The question is asking you which two quantities would react without any leftover. In other words, you need to find which two quantities they have identical number of moles. I would find the number of moles of each quantity by dividing the mass over the molecular mass. You have to realize that oxygen reacts in diatomic form. So we are talking here about O2 rather than oxygen atoms. To find the number of moles, I'll divide 12 by 12 for carbon and 12 by 32 for oxygen. And obviously these are not equal number of moles. I'll do the same thing for option B and this still not equal number of moles. Option C is the right answer because both quantities are equal to 0.5 moles. This question should take you less than 30 seconds to answer. Once you identify the keyword, the question is asking you to identify combustion reactions of hydrocarbons. You have to realize that ethanol got an oxygen and is not a hydrocarbon. For that reason, the only correct option is answer D. This question is usually asked in the first page of the exam paper, where you've been given the melting and the boiling point of a substance, and then you'll be identified its state of matter. The first thing I'll do is that I'm going to sketch its melting point 71 and its boiling point 375. Any substance is a solid below its melting point. It is a liquid between its melting point and its boiling point, and it's a gas after its boiling point. For that reason, the only correct option here is D. That's because it's a liquid at 80 degrees Celsius and it's a gas at 400, which is higher than the boiling point. That's all for today. Feel free to ask any question.